What's up guys, it's Cal Wong, and in this episode we're going to check out the famous desserts of Hong Kong. A little warning, the desserts that are eaten in Hong Kong are a little bit different to what's eaten in the West, but you are in for a treat, so let's go check it out. First up, we've got Gai Gai Dessert Restaurant. Let's go check it out. Good morning, guys. We're at uh, this very special dessert restaurant in Hong Kong called Gai Gai Tim Ban. Uh, this place only serves dessert um, and traditional Chinese style desserts. As you can see, Chinese desserts are soupy. Uh, we've got three here. Uh, we've got this thick black looking one, this equally thick brown one, and this amazing looking concoction here as well. So let's go one by one. This is black sesame sweet soup uh, and it's basically roasted sesame seeds ground down to a powder mixed in with sugar and then cooked in water um, and it is so fragrant it is oh, absolutely that sesame roasted sesame flavor is so strong oh man pure sesame seeds with sugar and it's just absolutely delicious there's no other way to describe it it just tastes like um, a soupy sesame paste that's sweet delicious uh, so this restaurant has been around for a long time it's it's now uh, run by um, the second generation of the family this place was uh, struggling um, like many many smallholder businesses in Hong Kong this this place was struggling for a while and it wasn't until a local TV station came in and uh, did a feature on this place and, and all of a sudden their fortunes changed, which is a good thing because um, this place is very, very uh, genuine to its roots. Um, it's very traditional in the way they prepare things. The sesame seeds and the walnuts are hand ground uh, and they're cooked all in the back. Um, unlike many other places here, it's not just a pre-bought uh, powder, which is then, then mixed up with some hot water. Uh, this place is uh, is legitimate, um, and and for their hard work, they've been rewarded um, two years running with a Michelin Guide recommendation. Uh, we also got this one, which is uh, a walnut paste. So again, mm, like walnuts ground down to a powder, mixed in with only a little bit of sugar, and cooked in water. That is smooth very nutty and slightly sweet really really refreshing so unlike um, many Western desserts uh, Chinese desserts are quite often eaten uh, warm or hot uh, which is the case here in summer there are some varieties which are cold but that's a more of a modern invention this one is uh, is a special one it's not pumpkin it's actually papaya uh, and it's uh, slow boiled with this, which is called uh, white fungus. It's exactly what it is. It's a tree fungus uh, that grows on on uh, on rotting wood in the forest, uh, and it's it's a translucent white. Um, according to Chinese uh, medicine, this is very good for your throat and your respiratory system. Uh, equally, uh, the papaya is also very good for your respiratory system too. Mm. It's so easy to eat. Um, that is steeped with uh, ginger and um, and rock sugar, uh, and it's just 
is really soothing in your throat. You can actually feel that soothing your throat straight away, but it's absolutely delicious. And you can eat, you can eat this too. So it is a little bit weird because it is uh, cooked fruit, but think of it as, as stewed fruit. So you can, mm, you can easily eat that. This is absolutely delicious. Uh, so if you get a chance, come down to Jordan and check this place out. Um, uh, it is just dessert, so come down after a meal. Uh, there's plenty to eat around this area. All right, guys. So we're at a, a dessert restaurant, Chinese dessert restaurant called Chongso Dessert. Chongso, I guess. Uh, and all they do is specialize in uh, Chinese desserts mixed in with some fusion dessert. And people in Hong Kong go crazy for anything that has anything to do with mangoes. So what we've got here are two special desserts. Um, this is a tofu fa with. I guess uh, uh, mango sorbet, fresh mango, and there's little bits of black jelly, uh, grass jelly, which is a herbal jelly. Um, let's give this one a go first. It's quite a, a mishmash of different things. It's a really delicate sort of um, uh, sorbet. <laughs> And we'll mix it up with some of this grass jelly and fresh mango. Mm. So grass jelly is really soft. Um, slight herbal flavor, but um, not offensive in any way. Um, we've got some tofu fa as well. And what I've noticed is that there's also a bit of uh, mango juice or mango syrup in there. And that's really what gives it the, the, mango, the mango flavoring. But I mean, the sorbet is good as well. So next up, we've got this mango pudding, which is so popular back home in uh, Chinese restaurants. Um, we, we used to eat this when we go to Yum Cha. Um, so now, you, you don't actually don't see it very often in Hong Kong, but in these dessert restaurants, you do get it. Um, they, we basically poured some condensed milk over the top of it. Uh, and it's just, this, this pudding is just a, a mango infused, uh, milky pudding and I, and I suspect that it's probably made with a lot of condensed milk as well. Um, it's wobbly, it's jiggly, no real smell. But yeah, uh, a milky mango pudding. It pairs really well um, with the fresh mango because it is quite milky. Yeah, the mango just cuts right through the dairy. It's quite good. Mm. All right, guys. Next up, we're going to check this place out. It's called Fuk Yun Tong Yun, uh, and the the really special thing about this place is that they make all the fillings of their desserts that you're going to see very shortly. They're all homemade. So uh, the sesame paste is hand crushed. It's wok fried. Uh, and then it's prepared on premises, and then they, they prepare each little dumpling individually in house. So let's go check it out. All right, guys, here we, ha here we have it. We've got two desserts here. This first one is a special one. So. Chinese desserts are quite often uh, served hot and they're soupy. So the, the literal name for them in Chinese is sweet soup. Uh, so as you can see, it's a white liquid. It's made from almond powder. Uh, so ground almond powder with uh, quite a lot of sugar. So you can imagine this as almond milk with a, with a special twist. So there's a lot of sugar in there, but there's that distinct kick of, um, of almond. It's hard to explain, but it's nutty. Uh, it's a little bit grainy, but really, really delicious. But what we have here is what we came for, which is, um, if you look closely, it uh, looks like a mochi ball, a Japanese mochi ball. Um, you may find it interesting um, that this in Chinese is called Meiti. 
uh, so you can you can you can hear the similarities in the name. Um, it's essentially the same thing. It's made out of glutinous rice flour uh, with water, um, and it's uh, it's pummeled together uh, and then turned into into this dough. Uh, but what separates this is that it's filled with this black sesame paste, uh, and this is a sesame paste that I mentioned before. It's all made on premises. They wok fry the the sesame seeds. Uh, before grinding it up uh, and mixing it with more sugar uh, into this paste and the paste is rolled up into little balls and frozen and when the time comes to, to wrap these uh, little little dumpling balls um, they can pull it out of the freezer and, and they do it by hand uh, right behind me so what makes this super special is the black sesame oozes out once you bite into it so it's frozen and after they boil it this is what you come out with and it's absolutely delicious it's it's warm on the outside and hot on the inside and it's just absolutely perfect with this sweet soup. Mm. It's so good. This combination of uh, the almond sweet soup and this uh, Chinese mochi ball is absolutely delicious. Uh, you can imagine this ses the, the strong sesame flavor that's coming out of this uh, this this ball, it's, it's black because it's a roasted uh, black sesame, but it's absolutely delicious. Mm. That is so good. Let's move on to the next one though. So this is a very, very uh, southern Chinese style dessert. Um, you can see that it's a, a brownish green uh, color and uh, that's because it's made from beans, um, so mung beans. Wow, so this is the first time I've uh, had it in this kind of like pasty variety. Uh, usually it comes with actual um, little beans, but uh, the, the, the thing that kind of sets this apart is they, they use a, a weed um, in Chinese it's called tao to or smelly weed uh, and, and it grows wild on the side of the road uh, but it's it's a herbaceous uh, kind of herb uh, and it adds this distinct floral flavor to it and then the texture is a little bit pasty uh, from the beans um, but that flavor, that, com that combined flavor of green bean and smelly weed is absolutely delicious. All right guys, we just smashed down two bowls of Chinese sweet soup or Chinese dessert. Uh, that's it for this episode of uh, Desserts in Hong Kong. If you enjoyed this episode, please do click the like button below. And of course, remember to smash that subscribe button too. I'll see you next time.